<laughs> the deep state. You're half fair task. You're half fair task. You're in half fair task. And then she gives all the adrenaline from the adrenaline glands to the queen. Mm, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Guys, welcome inside the airport. Welcome, guys. Oh boy, know. we're here. Hey, we got uh, yeah. As you said, we all need some levity during this time. We yeah. can, yeah, we could use it. So, yeah, so, so uh, in a timely fashion, this will probably be posted two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But guess what? This is this is being recorded the day after our election, and we know exactly who won, and we're gonna reveal it now. Yeah. You had, you had the box. Bernie Sanders came in with the the oh, yeah. cash in the briefcase. Cash in the briefcase. Hopefully it wasn't a cash in like the mints and then. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's drink some beer. Let's post these. No. This is the Duncan Coffee Porter from Harpoon. All new, all brew. And all yeah. delicious. It's good. Yeah. I like it. I'm a big fan of these Harpoon uh, Duncan's. Six percent alcohol. Then it release. I like this can even nice and classy. Mm -hmm. Good times. Simple. So how are you guys doing, man? I, I heard you guys were, were pollsters. Is that the yep. Pole Work dancers? Pole. Yeah. yeah pole right. Work for pole. Yeah. But we actually know how to spell it, unlike you know, our president. So P-O-L-L-S. We didn't get any stickers for being, like, said that said Wait, I trying to pole. spell polls? Yeah. He said the polls are closed. We put oh, okay. P, P on Twitter. Yeah, like, you know, P O L -E Like Polish people, yeah. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He's got it. Yeah, that's probably who he's going to attack right after yeah. he... Yeah. Yeah. If I win, I will attack the Polish or, And if I lose, I will also do that. Yeah. Uh, my army will be ju just be a bunch of Trumpers, so. though. Yeah, so we worked a long day, like a 17-hour day. It was, it was rough. It was long. And it dragged at the end. And it was did you get, like, dark. free dinner or something? Or? No. Well, we did. Some people brought food, but we had ordered food first because it was, like, getting to be lunchtime. And we're like. Well, no one told us when you get there, like, you can't go leave and get food. And like, no one can go. You're stuck. You're stuck there. Yeah, but and also I did look it up ahead of time. Or there was like no like steel ballots and like there was no guidelines online either, and I'm There's just like that does not outside. bode well that they don't even post but, like the. So break. we had like like two energy drinks and a banana basically <laughs> for like 17 hours, and so we're like, oh, we're gonna die. So we ordered some pizza because they also like, oh, sometimes they bring food, and I think we had a box of donuts. But I mean, there's also nine, eight, nine people there, so it's like okay, we're gonna have donuts until 10 p.m. So we ordered some pizza, but then people started bringing food. Like Pepino's brought two two pies. Um, Damn. Well, yeah. Some people who came to vote brought little goodie bags. That yeah. was really and nice. And Ben Walsh brought us uh, some. Yeah, some, Ben Walsh uh, came in and thanked us for our service. He got yep. us some uh, half moons. Yeah, but only on the. the I'm sorry. Cookies. Yes. Now she's not gonna. I she, like half moons on like, chocolate it's cookies. Like, Fuck you, Ben yeah. Walsh. <laughs> Just kidding. Racist. Just kidding. Friend of the podcast, Ben Walsh. <laughs> Mayor Turkey. Um, yeah. Uh, no, it was great. It was. Uh, it was. It was. First of all, it was really good just because we didn't have to pay attention to what, like, the actual, was actually happening, like, in the world when it comes to polling. Yeah, you were very focused on what was happening in the room, so yeah. you weren't even and thinking the about the whole... The yeah. without me or, or burn. Or burn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. This goes on. Ah! Yep. That three hours left. And it was really nice to see, you know, people voting for the first time, people voting for the first time in a long time. Um, I, it was nice to help people. You saw some people who were definitely voting for the first time, like as American citizens. So that was really cool. People also coming nice to see parents. people come in like at eight thirty and go, uh, "Yeah, uh, I know I'm. This is my poll place, but I just told I can vote here." I'm said, "No," and they're like, "I'm gonna vote here." I'm like, "You, you no. can't." I mean, you can get mad at me, I guess. That was like one of the last interactions I had. This guy was just like, "Uh, yeah, he no, I'm happy. gonna vote here." I'm like, "Fuck oh, you." Okay. You and then when he made it clear, he was like, well, then we're just not voting. And his wife or partner or whatever was like, no, I want to make sure I can or cannot vote. And he was so pissed because he was just, just standing like, in the back like, I want to get home. And it's like, we get it. And then two people came to the wrong place. But and luckily, into the polls. we were like, well, here's your polling place. But the cool thing is it'll be closer to your home. So it'll be on the way home. You just stop and vote and then you can go home. <laughs> Would you want to go home? She was like a county away from her polling place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Herkimer. Like, what? Why yeah, why are you here? What? I really love the Destiny Mall. I was like, I don't like that either. Oh, okay. That, that can't be true. Yeah. But it was cool, and we worked with some really nice people. And um, yeah. we actually had a manager was great during the day. She made sure we all switched like places, so people didn't get stuck doing the same thing all day long. We learned how to do all the different things. Mm. Um, I was, like, I'd, wiping down the machines or something. I, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea how to do like, use like the, the butts. 
Um, you're supposed people, to take special though. training to do the ballot machine, but one of the people just did a no-show, and I think she was just like, well, you're a young person, I bet you can figure it out, just follow what that lady does, so oh. I got to do it without the certification yeah. of it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. It cool, was cool, fun, cool, yeah. Cool. No, it was really easy, and I handled it, and then... It's probably you know, fine. It's probably fine. It's totally fine. Was that the one that got erased mysteriously? <laughs> Not gonna oh, oh, if you're voting for Trump, try to vote on this one, guys. <laughs> oh. Only Democrats voted in that one. Smash! Um, we took in... 1,655 votes. So, that was pretty nice. cool. So, just you two? Yeah, of course. No. I was a machine. No. We were the, the, like, like putting it in your butt crack and they're... <laughs> yeah, they're mm. starting it. Mm. What, what are you standing on me? Oh, one for Joe Jorgensen. <laughs> but why? <laughs> but I believe, why? I believe in anything. Just no. tell me what you need. I'm a lady, so... <laughs> Look, I'm a lady. Yeah. Though. Oh, God. Okay, let, let, let's My vice president's nickname is Spike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Spike! Yeah. That was I'll live off the green and drink my own pee. Yeah. That was the worst oh, part about no. that whole fucking card. Why would no. you put your nickname if it was Spike on there? That's no credibility in that it name. Gives, it makes you folksy, man. That's like, the libertarians love folksy. That's like, my name's John Wilson, and here's my vice president, Wario. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Wario. <laughs> what? Look, why would he pick that? Everyone, <laughs> everyone knows... Well, I'm gonna win. Waluigi is much more serious. <laughs> like, ah, uh, Waluigi, number two. That's why yeah, like vice president. I'm the vice president. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching this old uh, Dark Beast guy, and it was like Luigi talking about Waluigi, and, and, and Waluigi just was like being the worst. Like he's like taking his shoes off and stuff. And then and then he goes, he goes, oh, who's that calling? He's like, oh, it's just my nemesis. He goes, I thought that was your nemesis. He's like, no, my nemesis is Wild Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, it's like Wild fucking Wild. weird looking like Crony Merman. <laughs> yeah. Nice. This skit was worth it. Yep. <laughs> wow, Waluigi. He's like, wow, Waluigi. I was like, good dork me on that one. Um, also, if you, if you want to watch um, random things made into D&D &D, D &D type campaigns, that's their stop right there. They did a Sex in the City. Wow. <laughs> they did one on uh, breakfast cereals. Mm. Uh, they did one uh, where, where uh, Brennan Lee Mulligan, uh, one of my favorite uh, Dungeon Masters, played Tony the Tiger. <laughs> um, and it was a good time. Dorkly, guys. Look it up on the YouTubes. Um, I'm doing great. Who cares? Let's talk about some news, guys. Because I got some stuff. Well, Matt looks like he has some stuff. R.I.P. Uh, to yeah. Sean Henry. Died at 90 years old. Mm -hmm. I oh. think I think if, if someone's not dressed like Zardoz at his funeral, where, what world are we living? Yeah, we, we, we dressed really, the body. And we should have done that. And we and we should have coordinated that. Mm -hmm. Well, next time. Next time. I'll be that. one of the old people, just like weird and crazy and old. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. down for that. I'm like perfect. Where to go up? Let me get dressed up. It's kind of nice. I'm saying later. Sexually. Yeah, exactly. Those old, you know those little people are partying like that. Yeah. I know you have that Sean Connery outfit too, the, the strappy little red thing. Mm -hmm. so. The braid. Didn't do for Well, it's an extension, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. No, I, the, my head, it comes right out of my head. Like a doll of some sort? That's yeah. Probably... Um, yeah, and, and, you know, a lot of people have some nice things to say. Uh, you know, he was 90 years old, so it wasn't like, it was like, oh, so tragic and sudden. Like, Big surprise. No. Old, old man. Um... Sonia Morpet did say that she, uh, she's like, oh yeah, he, I used to have a big crush on him. I was like, okay. How much she knows? Quite some person. She's mean, like my age, well, the couple years older. I'm like, okay. My mom did, because you know she was alive during the '60s. So. Yeah, I mean, but that's like me saying I had a huge crush on Harrison Ford. So. Because you did. Huh? Yeah, and not so much. Get off that. my plane. Yeah. But when Harrison Ford is like Indiana Jones yeah, or like Air yeah, Force One? Yeah, like Harrison, like Indiana Jones. Like so a fugitive? Witness. Yeah, like, Witness. like Han Solo. Mm. Oh, no, Witness is a great <laughs> movie. That's, that's, yes. So sexual. To all of them, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, Paul the Wild. All right, Pete. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it sucks. You know, it, yeah. uh, there's one Daryl Hammond. Like had to do a sad bite because he, you know, he did an impersonation of him. That's where he comes out of hiding is when we're trying to kind of mm -hmm. when it's like it was like one of the probably one of the most important things I ever did in my life. Mm -hmm. and one of the things that like was I'm most known for. And it's like yeah, really. Yeah, like, the penis is my dear. Mm -hmm. Starts with the bunny ass. Um. 
Let's be sure her. I mean, I'm sure there was like a lot of casual sexual harassment back in the day, so. On to some more real world news, guys. We, yeah. we don't do enough real world news, guys. Uh, so, there was an asteroid worth 10,000 quadrillion dollars spotted in, uh, just between Mars and Jupiter. So, I'm saying what we do right now, get a little nest egg, yeah. build a rocket, get out to that. Yeah. And just claim it. Just claim it for us. So, like, you, if you come out, you have to, like, you, you at least pay a tax or something. Like, you have to pay a tax. Yeah, you have to pay a tax. Yeah. We love you, Dana Balter, by the way. Did both of you. <laughs> so did we. Yeah. But, um, the, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's mostly, it's mostly uh, it's iron. loaded up with iron. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like pretty pretty large in general, but it's like mostly iron and like other precious like There's some big platinum metals. and a couple other like yeah, like ten thousand quadrillion dollars. Those are actually really cool. You guys, you know, if we go there too, we can declare our own rules because the people who are going to Mars, they're not going to abide by Earth rules. Yeah, Elon Musk is. Uh, he's like no laws. They actually think that it might be a core of a failed planet. That's what, why it's so iron rich. Which is, that's just cool in itself. And it's very, it's like, just like a cool looking rock. It'd be great to study, but also, we get in there first. Oh, cool. Eat our duck. I mean, I've seen most of the expanse at this point, so I think we can do it. I'm watching it right now. I mean, first off, make sure we get the patches to put over the holes in the spaceship mm-hmm. when we get shot at. Yeah, you make fire. sure your supplies are there, ready to go. Yeah. Being prepared is number you one. enjoy it. Oh, watch I like it. it. We should, it's fine. You have to be Jamie not to enjoy it. I love you. Ow. It's no. Well, it? I don't like that other show. What other show? That the I magicians? tried to watch with you. The Magician. The Magician. Not so there you go. No, I told her no one's perfect. I don't know why you said that on the show. They're, they're going to kill me if I say the Magicians. <laughs> don't do it. We have a lot of Madge heads that watch this, so yeah. watch it. Watch them out. She's, are you saying she's a no Madge? Is that what you're saying? No Madge. Um, Mundane over here. Yeah, that's all I have on that one. I didn't really write anything else. Um, guys, N7 day is getting even <laughs> bigger because there's now going to be a cast <laughs> reunion. <laughs> um, this was announced on Mark Muir, who is the voice of Commander Shepard. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the I'm, on his uh, Twitter page, and he said that there's going to be um, uh, Jennifer Hale, Steve Blum, Courtney. Taylor and a bunch of other people that they haven't named yet, plus uh, the the old devs like uh, Raphael, you know, the guy that voiced uh, Cage. So, yeah. So, all right, I'm excited about this. Let's uh, let's, let's make this happen. And this is uh, obviously we're we're pretty sure it's gonna be a lead we'll, up. Into we'll it. keep David be there though. That's what I'm really caring about. You know what I'm saying? How'd you get the beads with the Frank? Beef. Got the name. No. Um. I'm excited Admiral about this. this I think it's worth it. <laughs> Counselor Anderson. Maybe they can have a shepherd off um, between Jennifer Hale and um, and Mark Muir. I I don't even want to say that because they're gonna be like, who's your favorite shepherd? And Jennifer Hale's gonna get like everyone's gonna be cheering for her because she did such a better job <laughs> voice wise in that performance. Yeah. We love you, Mark Muir, friend of the podcast. Um, but yeah, this is leading up to the uh, re-release of a hopefully remastered uh, trilogy. Or possibly, which by the way, still a big rumor. There's nothing's mm-hmm. been confirmed. We, they're thinking like maybe even maybe during this thing they'll be confirming it. So hopefully that happens, so we can finally set the money aside for my career. Well, we got a couple of days till it happens. Not not too far away. It might even be you know after or before this comes out. So we'll see. Yeah, and that's a challenge. I mean, we're waiting on a lot of things right now. It's playing the waiting game. Guys, did you see the? You caught up on the Mandalorian season two episode. The one. I'm showed you. Fat guys, super happy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad too. It was like a good episode. Didn't feel the sophomore slump. Fun spots, good surprise at the end. I not as far as Tim Gale thoughts in the episode. So Jamie, she was great. Did Jamie got her cookies? So that was nice. So she was like sitting in a little bit back in the dark. And I thought time, she knew her in front. Every time he's uh, and she just had like her leg up on yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not. So it's Tim Oliphant's. He's like, such a weird looking dude, though. Like I, I always forget how weird he is because he just yeah. he, he, like he, lives, he like comes to the doorstep like this like what? Yeah. What? Are you? you have like a bit. I know what's happening right now. Well, I mean, maybe the armor is too heavy for him. His head just gets like bigger up here. Also, Boba Fett's armor is terrible looking. Oh. Yeah, I forgot how trash that armor looks. <laughs> so trash. 
Like, this is what a Mandalorian would wear. Like, oh, really? Hmm. Like, one Mandalorian armor looks good. The other looks like... I buy Bible Bond myself! Sure. It's like, Mandalorian, great value. Like, jeez, yeah. <laughs> like, man. You're like the, like the Walmart brand. And also, he's like, I want that back for a reason. You're like, why? He's not even a real Mandalorian, technically. He just gets to take that back, though. If you're yeah, but it's you honor. take it back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we they can melt that. it down though, so you know. Sure, geez. I guess. It's, I thought it was a great episode. I thought it was really fun. That uh, great dragon was freaking. Brain. That was dope. <laughs> and I loved the the. Uh, okay, we won't, we won't give any anything else away, but but we'll talk about it after the podcast because there were some really funny strikes in that. Um, but um, including the big surprise at the end, <laughs> Banta Pudu. Um, but uh, yes, um, I was I was excited and it did it had that same good feel and. Uh, uh, I you know I kind of wish they'd shown a little bit more of like the other things they're talking about in this during the, the season. Child. No, the child's fine. I mean, I, I meant like you know Sasha Banks is uh, possibly. We'll get that. Yeah, you you be well, I was hoping they would. I was hoping they'd give like a little. No, the little hold your horses for to be ready. Okay. But this is this is I think I think this is goes along with their very compartmentalized episodes. Where they kind of they all feel like standalone almost. Where it's, mm-hmm. you know even though it's a through line where it's like I'm getting this person someplace. It feels well, like an old Western show where every episode was different because they're like, oh, we don't know when we have to air these. So uh, we're, if they air them out of order, it, it doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> right. they all luckily are going to be air, uh, aired in a row. So what? That, uh, there's no, no break in the middle. So oh, I know. That. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty cool about that with that. Uh, sometimes like they do that little thing where they'll have like three episodes and then they like, give you a two week break. I'm like, fuck, I, want, I don't want you to slow my momentum. This um, must have been pretty good with that, dude. I'm glad we got Amy Sedaris back, like, right in the first episode. That was great. Yeah, Jamie forgot who was. She was like, who's that again? Like, Amy Sedaris. Like, one of my favorite people in the whole world, probably. I also told her I wouldn't tell you that that happened. And then you did. It was fine. It's good for the podcast. I don't know. I don't judge anybody. Good for the podcast. What? News mm. to me. Hmm. What? You chose poorly. What? <laughs> I just wore a red shirt. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, uh, I got a couple more things. Oh, I got a, this is the best news of the week, guys. Oh, okay. If you like sports ball and you're like, can I get sports ball in sports my ball. video games? We like sports and we don't care. Who sports knows. ball star Dodger. I didn't hear this. He's a Dodger. Cody Bellinger is going to play a Viking in Assassin's Creed. What's uh-huh. his name? It's the fucking best name. Is, uh, well, I'm almost there. Wait for it. Okay. MLB, the, the MLB player, he, he's in the Major League Baseball. He actually is in the world champion. Dodgers. LA Dodgers, yeah. Uh, he did mocap, uh, voiceover, and face uh, modeling, which I put as melding. Not sure why. For a, uh, for a Viking who's very good at hitting rocks with a big bat leg oh stick. Oh, my God. Yep. My and God. his name is Otis Sluggison. 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 Like you out Also, here. he has like a regular wor- like hairdo. He like looks like, like an Italian guy. <laughs> like he looks like just his care, like his human body with like a Viking shirt on. I was like, "Fuck you!" This actually really pissed me off. Yeah. Look at this. I'm like, I'm really good at dodging rocks as well. Yeah. Oh. It, the only way this works for me is if it's like the the whoever the human is now that's in the Animus, their brain is like getting real fucked up, and they like keep putting like weird like, shit. They in accidentally there. put LSD in yeah. the Animus. <laughs> <laughs> or like oh, there's like, a baseball player in here. Oh. Like, like, like Albert Einstein will be in there or something like, oh shit, this is not the time. I'm also a Viking yeah. and have syphilis. Like, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so are you, does this make you more inclined or less inclined to get the next Assassin's Creed game? Less. Because like, you're like much Assassin's less. Creed head. Much less. It really actually makes me angry. Is it called an ass, an ass head? I think they call them. Ass heads. Yeah. Ass heads. Yeah. Um, ass craps. So, so there's, I got some more new Ubisoft news, man. You want it? I do. Yeah. Okay, so Watch Dogs Legion just came out. Did you see this, Matt? Are you ready for this? So they already a bunch of stuff confirmed, Matt. Tons of multiplayer. You know who's ready for it? You can play as IGN. You can play as Aiden Pierce, Matt. The guy, the character from the first one. You know that dried milk toast guy? That yeah. Was a, Use a your guy favorite. You love that game. With the, he had like a scarf on his face. You love that game. That was his thing. He was like, I have a scarf on my face. Mm. That's so, just, oh. so the cameras couldn't pick up on his face or something. Yeah, oh. just like his clothes that he always wore the same clothes. He should have just done that like digital I'm different now. You're, you're definitely like... Aiden Pierce. I just saw you at the grocery store. No, <laughs> look at that. Uh, maybe he was Bella Lugosi. You didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> that would have been better if he just had a cape that he put in front of his face the whole time. 
Uh, so Matt, you're thinking like, what is the fucking most ironic thing that could happen to this game? What, what, Matt? What do you think? They could do shitty things uh, like sports in this. No, that could happen to the game. They went to the game. Uh, I get thrown in the garbage in, 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 the, no meta, in the meta world. No, oh. no. Even, even more, sh- even more in, into the pale, Matt. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, Legion was completely hacked. Like, the, someone stole the entire source code from Ubisoft uh, and Crytek. They, they hacked both companies. This, uh, this group uh, called, uh, what are they called? Er, 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 Egregor. Egregor. Uh, which is a ransomware. They just like steal shit to like sell back to people, and it was something else. I thought it was gonna be retribution. It, it was called retribution. <laughs> you know, part of retribution. Yeah. Uh, it was freaking Ali that did it. Okay, <laughs> I would think T Bar, but yeah. <laughs> he did this with his glove, and then like all everything got stolen. It was actually the women, like while the guys were being assholes. Uh, what, like, do you know her name? Only one What's her name though? Retaliation. It's close. They're so close. Resurgence. Reckoning. Reckoning. Yeah. Retaliation yeah, right, was, uh, right. was Mercedes Martinez. Yes. Before, they, before she ducked out of there, she's like, no I'm thanks. Just, I'm just going to... Actually, I'll be, on a, I'll be in a catering. Oh, my mask fell off. I got to be myself now. Oh, no. They know who I am. Oh, no. I'll be in catering until this blows over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, uh, uh, so they, they, had, they claimed that they obtained all the data uh, from the internal networks of Ubisoft and Crytek. They all, uh, the okay. good things that could come of this is like it could lead to like modding of the game where you can like have like Cooler stuff than Aiden Pearson, for instance. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe the guy from the second game. <laughs> maybe uh, as the you know, like, like that's right, I me in this game. <laughs> um, and then, um, but the bad thing is, is that they would also like just fuck with all the anti piracy mm-hmm. uh, software that was, which is probably like a ton of time and money put into it, and then just be like, "Well, my character is one million, and I'm just gonna murder you in yeah. multiplayer." Like, oh, that sounds fun. One million, and steal all your characters' items. <laughs> fun. One million. Yay! Capital smashing. Look, I can punch a building and make it fall down. Like, oh, fun. It's kind of like that. It turns into like a Matrix game after that. No, I'm glad I'm in this world. Um, so yes, and I guess supposedly they got a lot more from Crytek, including like the layouts of most of their newer games, including Arena of Fate, which sounds Dang. like the worst. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds like I don't want to play that. The worst. I uh, another game called Warface. <laughs> I hope it's a working title. I think it's one of those where you look at the camera and like you make a face and it's like, wall face. It's like, it's like <laughs> wall face. Ah, it's a wall face. Who made the best wall face? I would vote. Um, Speed of War and Faces. Oh, God. Witcher season, Witcher season 2 is moving into the studio because uh, London's going through the lockdown, guys, so they can't film outside or, I guess, or something. So they're going to be in a studio, hopefully finishing it. Very quickly. Just use that Mandalorian uh, technology and, and do that. You know, right. Do the VFX background stuff. You know? And have the child in Witcher 2 as well. That's right. Yeah. I'm in this. Yeah. Ah. Now he's tall. He's, he's talking a little bit now. Yeah. Well, you know, he's 51 now. He should be talking. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I know. Jeez. Um, it, it, I guess as long as they're keeping keeping up on the, uh, um, the schedule, it's okay. They're also doing the Batman is not... Stopping filming either, and they're in they're in uh, England. So okay, just don't get sick, please. Like you already Again, did once before. Don't, don't kill uh, UK treasure Robert Pattinson, please. Um, I mean, if he's the treasure, he's like the he is the national treasure of UK. He's like the bronze. He's like the Nicholas Cage of <laughs> UK. I mean, the, the uh, Actually, that's Eddie Redmayne, but uh, yeah, that's me. Eddie Redmayne. Yes. I'm always overacting. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. the longest yeah. face. <sighs> Jupiter sending guys. Like, Freddie Mercury's like, cut that out with your face. It's very long. Um, so long. Also, guys, uh, Ray Fisher came out and said what actually he was talking about in this whole thing where we all thought it was like sexual harassment or maybe he uh, maybe Joss Whedon butt touched someone on the set. Oh yeah yeah so what is okay. it? Oh, so, is he oh. racist? So he said he was pissed off because supposedly he was told by someone this is what he said he was told by someone oh, no. that Whedon supposedly ordered a skin color change of a couple of the uh, there's an Asian actor and uh, another actor and um, so Joss Whedon came out right after he was like listen I wasn't the first person filming this movie, and it was filmed in a different color. So I had to change people's skin colors to match the skin colors for both the Snyder cut and my the Snyder pieces and my pieces of the movie. He's like, that's the only reason I this was asked for. He's like, and 
It was done, the colorist was for uh, Snyder's Cut, was also the colorist for my cut. That's why he also was part of this. He's like, I didn't demand this. He's like, it's just something that we had to do to make the movie match. So I'm like, I can yell so, at this scene. I'm great. Yeah, I, you scene. Know, I don't know if this is on, the only case, but it's like, That's this is weak. Yeah, weak. Like, super wow, weak. Wow, so you guys are back on the white I don't know. side? Yeah. I don't I don't want to be on Joss Whedon's side. I know he's done some really shitty yeah, things Yeah, I know this, it, this is not the only set he's been accused of doing shitty but, things on. Show, so, show, yeah. This is the show, thing show, he yeah. was, like, belly aching about. I was like, okay, like, that's how movies work. You have to, like, match colors and stuff. And, like, if he, like, whited them out or something, I'm like, okay, that would not be good, but... Rip their skin off and put new skin on. Too black! Change them! Like, okay, let's, don't do that. You're like, <laughs> like... No, I meant the lighting is too black. Can you make this Asian person more yellow? Like, you can't do that shit. Don't do that. But, you know... You, know, it, you yeah. shouldn't do that. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and, and, but if he's changing it too much, which his excuse sounds... Credible, like it's something that seems like you would do. So it's like the okay. James the Credible Hulk. Incredible. He's that the, just makes me think. So many things have been making me think of Veep, like with this election. But that makes me think of when she's running against the um, African American woman, and so they send out like they're supposed to send out the mailers, and they make Selena look darker, and they make the other lady look whiter. But it looks so bad. And if that's what Joss Whedon was doing, <laughs> that's money. wrong. That Shame on you. Do I think like making himself look like Puerto Rican. Yeah. He's the whitest white guy. Like, you probably make him look a little Puerto Rican if you brown his face correctly, though. True story, Dustbin can only go as a jar of mayonnaise for Halloween. <laughs> that was the thing. Just like him and Seamus, basically. Yeah, but yeah, he's competing against Seamus. Seamus is just mayonnaise. light. Like, he goes out on Halloween and he creates his own light. Yeah, like, he's kind of like <laughs> yeah. almost like a day glow yeah, exactly. like, like, object. Well, that's right, fella! I help kids get around because they can see better. Actually, you know who would be a great costume for him would be the Mr. Burns when he's taking the medicine that makes him look like an alien in the woods and he's like glowing. When he gets older, that'd be a great costume. Does that mean they glow? (laughs) Fella. He's so transparent. Each kid's from Braun Strowman like nobody else. Yeah, yep, it's true. Um, yeah, I mean, that's great, right? Cool, yeah. I guess. I, I still, I'm gonna, I'm still keep my ear for more stuff before I'm back on. I don't think Joss Whedon is great. I'm sure yeah. he's, a, I, I'm sure he's done a lot of shitty yeah. stuff, but I was just like, that, when he said that, I was like, oh, Well, only because he had, okay. he, he had taken it so seriously and, like, wouldn't talk to the lawyers and stuff like that, so, you know, but apparently, yeah, Especially because he came out and said, I heard this from someone, I was like, like, okay. He's covering his butt. I get, I, sure. I get, okay. All right. I only have one thing left. What's that? For a while. What do you have? Mark Bailey. Suicide Squad? Mark Bailey. Okay. I'll Bailey. do my first. Sure. Yeah. So Suicide Squad Go uh, ha- originally had a, di- a different villain in mind. I don't know what the villains right now. The Joker. Uh, Again. But um, yeah, they definitely had a different villain in it's mind in the first cut pre-James Gunn. Mr. Mixer now they think the, the rumor of the villain actually is Starro, which sounds like something James Gunn would do as a villain. So uh, <laughs> I hope so because he he would do that justice. I yeah, think. I think I think he makes Starro look like a badass. Yeah. Uh, Starro oh! is a giant starfish like villain who like, mind controls people by hitting them with his his little starfish. Obviously, it's his project. Little starfish. They land on your face, and then you look like a big starfish. Yeah, face. so you really can't like your mind control, but also like kind of like alien. Fish. Like I know, yeah, but like I know yeah. that you are mind control. Yeah, but if you're a Superman, Superman or somebody, face. right? Like you can't get away from Superman. You just I think there might have been. I remember one comic <laughs> where there's the stars will land on the backs. So you couldn't see the like their face. Mm-hmm. What happened? Mm-hmm. That's, that's gross. That's gross. Man. Yeah, starfish. Um, but, okay, so, originally, the villain was gonna be DJ. It was gonna be Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam. Uh, I don't know how this would've worked, because all these guys get murdered by Black... There's there's nobody that beats Black Adam in this group. At all. But <laughs> um, maybe their powers think. together. No. Let me think. <laughs> nope, nope. Um, King Shark, nope. Uh, Mad Peacemaker, no. Uh, Mad nope. <laughs> like, tiny one... Yeah. He's probably the first guy that dies. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, either I'm way, I mean, you're either right. polka dot man, the polka dot man. Um, but also, yeah, no, man, I mean, polka dot man does not. He comes to play. Man. All I'm these people die. <laughs> We're not Pete like, Davidson's character. Uh, he literally—that's his character—is he makes stupid choices and and gets killed in the Suicide Squad. Uh, so, uh, but supposedly they were looking for a weapon of mass destruction. That was what the team was has to do, and the weapon of mass destruction happens to be. 
Dwayne the Rock Johnson's guns. Mm. So uh, yep. he's like, I brought these with me. And then he zaps him with lightning. He's like, here's your WMDs. And he's Hakuna Machente. And you're like, what? Hakuna Machente. Um, so Starro, maybe we can have, hopefully one day have Starro versus Black Adam. What, Matt, what if it's a thing and they real them this piece of pot Pete? He deserves it. But he, he they're all running and he just shoots shine. the paste on the ground. Like, we're stuck in this paste? Oh, no. Oh, no. But, like, then it rains and they're like, oh, it's washed. Oh, never mind. No, yeah. that's special paste, okay? It's made so you Or, or what if they all get stuck within the flash comes and just punches him out? Really. Yeah. Ah! 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 And he just knocks his head off. Just like, crumble. He just crumbles. crumbles. Ah! You're done. Okay, hey buddy. Hey, how you doing? Buddy? Like, kick me out. You got to help okay, me. Okay, so that, the last thing, and this is uh, this could be good or bad news, depending on, on if you're a if you're an Xboxer. Okay, it's it's X boner, X boner. Uh, Bethesda Matt says that we'll finally update this game engine before Starfield and Elder Scrolls Six come out. Finally. What? So so if anyone has played the the Elder Scrolls games, Oblivion, mm-hmm. even Skyrim, uh, there you know the the engine gets a little dated. It's, you know, it's, it, it's, the graphics are okay, but they're like, they're definitely not the best. And, that, yeah. and that's partially because they want to render the whole world, so they, they don't have like a high end graphics thing. Right, that, because it's more about quantity. It, 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 would, quality, yeah, right. it would make your, your computer explode. Uh, which, which monitors have made so much better in the past, you know, umpteen years since the game came out. Um, so, so it has been a huge problem. But, you know, now that it's on Xbox exclusive, because, uh, Xbox bought the parent company, Zenimax, mm-hmm. of Bethesda. Yeah. Um, people are worried, you know, like, is this going to look like shit still? Because, I mean, yes. it's great. Uh, well, Matt, what Todd Howard said is that it's not. He said that we're working okay. on the engine right now. It's going to come up before Starfield and before the Scrolls 6. But he also, Matt, put a, put a little thing on there. He said he can't imagine that Elder Scrolls will be Xbox exclusive. Ooh. So do you think we're going to uh, see I don't think it will be Elder either. Scrolls. I just think that Xbox is going to get a little extra scratch off it, that's all. You mean maybe a timed exclusive or something? Right yeah, there? maybe timed, maybe they'll charge a little extra for the PlayStation version or Maybe something. like if you play on the PlayStation version, it'll just have Xbox or your character's face the whole time. Because they still get royalties from you buying the game from them. You, you shoot, you shoot your gun, it's like, Xbox, Xbox, Xbox! It's like, fuck. I mean, that's really, if you think about it, there's, they, you have a AAA exclusive like that, you're still going to get the cash from selling that game. You're still going to get... If it like runs off your network, you probably still like, at least get licensing fees. If it like has to run, let's say you ru- use it through PlayStation Plus, they probably have to get some kind of licensing fee back to Xbox to use it. You know, so either way, they're gonna make money off of it. Why not? Why not make it one run on everything? I, you know, I I know that the Xbox games are gonna come to PC still too, and, and you know, so with Bethesda. I need like your PC stuff, so. With this also, you know, for me, the superior machine to play a first-person shooter, even if, even in like a a world setting like Fallout, is still going to be a PC. You got the mouse, the mouse moving is so much more articulate than controller. Mm. My speed is this or this. I much, I much more. Of a, I feel very differently about it, but I get what where you're coming from. Yeah, one of us is right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, you gotta up that PC then, because I'm sure it's not ready for. No, my PC is very much ready. Next gen, the best of games. Very much. Don't think so. You should be running uh, Baldur's Gate uh, three at uh, sixty frames a second. Ball DP eight. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Baldur's Gate. Well, I mean, I did uh, NBA ball. I did Gate. romance some people. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. Then they say scene not ready yet, and you're like, oh, okay. Come back, come back later for the scene. You're like, oh, thanks. But it's just a mind player too, so like you're getting like your dick out. You're like, oh no. That's all we got, guys. Dicks. So we we all have dicks. Stay all of us. All three of us. <laughs> Stay classy, guys. Fin, bang, boom. Shoot him again.